how hard is it to get into IMA PGPX? So getting into IMA PGPX is a tough process because of the number of seats being very, very selective. So the number of seats for admissions to IMA PGPX range from 140 to 148. The recent admission uh, was 148 uh, students in the class. The second thing that makes it more competitive is uh, the admissions process. So admissions process has a three tier structure. The first thing is you need to submit an application. This does not have any essays that need to be submitted. You just need to submit an application form, fill in all the details of your work experience or international experience, extracurricular awards and activities. Based on this application, the school will shortlist the applicants for the next stage. At the next stage, the things become more competitive because you have to submit about three essays, four essays for re-applicants. So you will have to submit these essays within a time frame of three to five days, depending on the schedule which is given out by IMA PGPX admissions team. This time frame is very strict. So you get the essay topics and, and type out the essays. Uh, there's no copy paste in this application form. You have to type out your essays. The third part that makes it competitive is the interview process. So the people who are shortlisted for the essay submission will also be interviewed. And when you're interviewed, you have to go into a two stage process. One is the extempore. Extempore means that you will be given a topic to talk about on the spot based on your general awareness, understanding of things which are happening around you in the business world, as well as in the general uh, corporate life. That has to be an opinion based uh, interaction. So once you are done with that, that is followed by a personal interview. So because this application process is a lengthy process, different stages, you have to be on for each of these stages and compete for a very less number of seats, which is what makes it very, very competitive. So it is really tough getting into IMA PGPX. But yes, if you have your mindset on it and if you are prepared for each stage of the application process, then you can crack it at the first quote. What is the average GMAT score for IMA PGPX? So the average GMAT score for IMA PGPX admissions over the recent uh, admission cycle has been 693. When you're submitting the GMAT score, the IMA will accept both the GMAT focus edition as well as the GMAT score. But both of these test scores are acceptable only if they are in center tests. So don't submit the online uh, GMAT uh, test scores for the IMA PGPX admissions. It should only be the in center test scores that you should submit. What is the GRE score for IMA PGPX? So the average GRE score for uh, the recent admissions to IMA PGPX has been 323. One thing to note over here when you're submitting the GRE score is that the online GRE score is not acceptable for the admissions process. You must have an in-center test score only. What can you expect in an IM interview? When you're walking into an IM interview, expect that you will have a very thorough discussion of your work experience of your industry that you are uh, coming from and the maybe the industry that you're planning to go to. So your career plans, the career so far, all of that is equally important. Know your resume very, very well. This is the first expectation that you should have in an IM interview. Second is you should expect that the IM interview will be very engaging and uh, you'll have to prove yourself within that short time span. That means your general awareness, your understanding of uh, the happenings around you in the business world should also be very, very clear with you and you should be able to you know assert your opinion as well as convey your arguments in a very in a congenial manner and a convincing manner another thing to expect in the im interviews is that you would be expected to think out of the box you would be expected to think on your feet so go in with the right attitude and take all your aptitude your numbers your uh, thought process about the industry that you are coming from where do you want to go in the future so go in with the uh, with complete compilation of all of these thoughts and uh, be ready to address any curveballs that are thrown at you. So it could be, you know, a part of the interview would just be testing how well you think when you are under stress. All the best for the IM interviews. What do the IM interviewers look for? So the first thing that they will look for is your knowledge of your work environment and the industry that you are coming from. What do you want to do in the future and how does the MBA connect uh, with what uh, you plan to do in, and how well you have thought and researched about it? The second thing that they will look for is your attitude. How do you face problems? How do you, uh, you know, look at your teammates? How do you uh, work in a team? How What is your experience in terms of handling pressure situations? So that is the attitude that they will look for. Third is the aptitude. So you should have the aptitude to discuss on a certain uh, problem and be able to give a structured argument that can be tested through your VAT, through your extempore or through just a very thorough discussion on any topic that is happening around you. 
these are things that will matter to you as a business professional that is the third thing that they will look into how to prepare for the im interview so the first thing that you need to do when you're preparing for the im interview is know your resume very well if you have work experience dive into all the projects that you have done and uh, you should be able to talk about the industry and talk about your work experience in an immense detail the second thing that you need for the im interview is your general awareness so what is happening around you what is happening in the world what are the new topics the burning issues Uh, which you as a business leader should be aware of and you should be having opinions on um, doing something about it in the future read the newspaper every day know what is happening around you and the third is your attitude so be ready to you know take up any problem that the interviewer throws on you you should be able to process the questions you should be able to process a problem it can be a mathematical problem it can be a guesstimate problem it can be anything related to an opinion or something that is happening in the industry come into the interview with an attitude to discuss thoroughly and to be able to process any problem that is uh, given to you and give a structured response to it the attitude also covers your uh, what is the average gmat score for ima pgpx so the average gmat score for ima pgpx admissions over the recent uh, admission cycle has been 693 when you are submitting the gmat score the ima will accept both the gmat focus edition as well as the gmat score but both of these test scores are acceptable only if they are in center test so don't submit the online uh, gmat uh, test scores for the ima pgpx admissions it should only be the in center test scores that you should submit but on average we have seen the interviews uh, lasting from let's say 15 minutes to anywhere till 35 minutes so there is always a panel which is scheduled to take more interviews depending on the time of the day the quality of the discussion your profile you can expect a discussion of around 15 to 35 minutes for the im interview